In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct Fisher's LSD multiple comparison tests in SPSS. So the example is the memory span dependent variable data across three between subjects groups, each associated with a dosage of alcohol consumption from low, medium, and high. And the null hypothesis is that the three groups have equal mean memory span performance levels. So go into Analyze, Compare Means, and one way ANOVA, put memory into the dependent list and dosage into the factor, and click on post talks, which is synonymous with multiple comparisons. And you can see that equal variance is assumed, the LSD procedure. Click on continue. We'll click on options to make sure that we have the homogeneity of variance test specified. Click continue and click OK. And we can see that the homogeneity variance assumption has been satisfied, which is an assumption of the Fisher's LSD test, at least this version of it. We can see that the ANOVA is statistically significant. And because the Fisher's LSD is a two-step multiple comparison procedure, it first needs a statistically significant ANOVA to be observed before you can carry on looking at the multiple comparisons. We can see here that SPSS labels it LSD over here should note that the significant ANOVA specifies that the three means are not equal to each other, but we just don't know which comparisons might be significant and which ones might not be. And we can see in the Fisher's LSD multiple comparison table that the difference between low and medium has a numerical mean difference of 1.84, and the standard error is 1.66. The standard error is the same for all the comparisons because it's using a pooled error term. And that's one of the elements of a multiple comparison procedure is that it uses a pooled error term. But the p-value is greater than 0.05. Therefore, the, difference the numerical difference between low and medium, which is equal to 1.84 memory span points, is not statistically significant, p equal 0.272. The difference between low and high, however, which is equal to 0.8.71, that's the numerical mean difference, that is statistically significant. It's, in fact, p less than 0.001. You wouldn't report 0.000 because it's not appropriate to say that there's a 0% chance of committing a type 1 error, but we can say less than 0.001. So the last comparison, we've shown low, medium, low, high. The last pairwise comparison, anyway, is between medium and high. So the difference between medium and high, which has a mean difference of 6.87, is also statistically significant, p less than 0.005. So these are the three Fisher's LSD multiple comparison procedures conducted in SPSS. You also get the 95% confidence intervals for the numerical mean differences if you wanted to report such a thing. So that is how you conduct a Fisher's LSD test in SPSS.